What's up, I'm the Water Filmmakers. I hope you've been busy diving and filming underwater. I just came back from a dive in the lake of Lucerne, again looking for the toads, the toad eggs and the perch eggs. But this time I was actually out there with my macro setup because I wanted to get some close-up shots of the toads as well as the toad eggs and the perch eggs to see some really good detail of it. Now I can tell you right now that I didn't find some toads on this dive, but I found something else that blew my mind. Stick around and I'll show you what it was. So on today's dive we are going to focus on the really small stuff and try to get some good macro shots of the perch and the toad eggs. As we are moving through the dive site that we by now already know a little bit, the first thing we come across are the perch eggs. They're pretty much everywhere. So I get myself comfortable, get myself ready, start filming the perch eggs, trying to get some good shots, some good macro shots of the inside of the eggs, which is not too easy, I have to admit, but I want to see if there is any development from last time inside the eggs. And if you look at this last shot, you can actually see the inside. The fish is moving a little bit, which is actually really cool to watch. After having filmed them for a little while, we move on and we come across this little snail in the seagrass and I try to get a decent shot of it as well, which turns out to be more difficult than what I expect, simply because there's so many things in front and all around the snail that it makes it very difficult to get proper focus. Eventually, we do come across the toad eggs and I get myself ready to take some close-up shots of the toad eggs and for the same reason here to see if there has been any development on these black little pearls. So as I'm filming the toad eggs, my buddy Pascal comes over, taps me on the head and points to a bit of grass right next to it. As I turn around and get my camera onto that piece that he's pointing to, this is what I see and at first I don't really know what that is. So I start looking through my macro setup to get a closer look. Still, I can't really figure out what it is until it dawns on me. These must be tiny little baby froggies that have just hatched. Look at them hanging onto the grass there. They basically look like freshwater pygmy seahorses. Some of them are even twitching, but most of them are just holding on still to the seagrass there. Um, and I can't really say why they're doing this. It seems like they have hatched just a couple of hours or maybe days ago. And I wonder how long these guys will actually stay there before they start moving around in the lake and start developing more. Some of them you can actually still see in their protective case, but most of them are just holding on and just going back and forth with the current. And I'm really curious to find out whether or not these little guys will still be there next week when we come and how they will have developed until then. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content today and if that's the case please do not forget to hit that like button so that I know that you've enjoyed this type of content that I can make more of it in the future. If you're curious to see the toads and you haven't seen my two previous videos maybe you should check out this video here and this video here that will have some footage of the toads in it. Thanks again for your time, happy diving and I will see you in the next video.